Peace, love, and light, my dear Geminis. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is out of Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this bonus reading for November 2020. Um, what they regret reading. Uh, if you are new to my channel and you like to content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. And if you are returning, thank you for returning. I just appreciate all the love and support that you all have given me so far. <clears throat> Alright, so I have angel over me this is your oracle card from my spirit oracle deck it says protection card angel wings surround you trust replace fear with love you are <clears throat> eternally held safe within the arms of an angel so you, you have some protection around you could be angels it could be your ancestors your spirit guides whomever so whatever it is that you're going through right now you have protection around you so we're going to get into this reading. <clears throat> I'm going to take some tea. Moon card. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Always constantly clear my throat. I hate that. I was drinking tea. I should have a clear throat. Hmm. I'm looking at a situation where um, this could be a same-sex situation but it doesn't have to be There were some things, it was like uh, you were waiting around for a relationship that wasn't, you were dealing with somebody who was selfish, um, somebody who was just focused, yeah, selfish, they were focused on themselves. Uh, you feel as though that you were just waiting around for something, you were holding on to a relationship that was not going to end up give you had like so much love for this person and you were waiting around and waiting around and waiting around for a change and this situation it just you felt like either this person was hiding so much from you or it just left you depressed because you were waiting on a relationship that you felt as though that was never going to give you what you wanted. I know that sounds just easier said than that. I mean, it's like, what am I supposed to say? You know how that is. <clears throat> You're in a relationship. 
you have it planned out. You know, you, you have time markers set up in a relationship. Like, by this time, I want us to own a house. By this time, I want us to have two cars. By this time, you know, I want us to go on this, this many vacations and, you know, and have this these many children and be married by this time. So when it says that a relationship did not go the way that you wanted it to go, it's saying that you want a relationship that's progressive that's going somewhere, that you're getting something out of it, that it's worth your time, that you are not wasting your time and your energy into something that's just not going to produce anything. So that's what I mean by, you know, you not getting your needs met, things not going in your favor. And it's like, uh, you are self-sacrificing in this relationship. You love this person so much and you were willing to wait around and wait around and wait around, but it just became too much because you felt like this person was just like egotistical. They were sharp with their tongue and they were irresponsible. <clears throat> they were irresponsible. That every time you tried to uh, address your issues with this person, it always ended up in arguments and conflict. And then so you just finally say, okay, I accept this. This is the way it is. I accept that this is the way it is. And I accept who I'm dealing with. So you had to cut this person off. You had to decide, okay, okay, it's all right. I got to go. I did this to myself because I decided to stay in a relationship longer than I was supposed to. And like I said, this is my cake and eat a two card. <clears throat> that it was about, <clears throat> I'm sorry, it was about who's right, who's wrong. Um, that even with this five of swords, it's like the five of swords could also be your energy. It doesn't necessarily have to talk about deception. It's saying that, all right, I have to choose myself over this person. So why? So I can get my life back in order. So you spent time with a person. You invested your time, your money, your energy into this person. And it just seems like this person wasn't being responsible you know that this person is not your ideal mate you did not envision when you got into the relationship with this person that it was not going to be going anywhere you had a different vision of what you wanted from the relationship and also what concerns me is that there's no love here there's no love here except for the king of cups which is saying that you cared a lot for this person you were willing to do anything for them um and with that king of pentacles in reverse, that also can talk about a person who is not very lovey-dovey. You know, you are very loving and caring, and this person wasn't like that. You know, they were more so looking at the financial aspects of the relationship instead of the love aspects of the relationship. So what do they regret? The two of cups in reverse. <clears throat> the three of pentacles. The lovers. <laughs> Ten of wands. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, seven, uh, Six of Cups, and a World card. You left them. You left them, you cut off your emotions, and you left them. They regret not investing in the relationship between the two of you. They messed the relationship up. They messed it up. <clears throat> they had a good partner here. They had a good partner in you. But they've turned you cold. You covered your cup back up. You're not having it no more. This person now wants to come see you. They want to talk to you. They want to reconcile a situation between the two of you. But they know they can't. They want to apologize to you. Knight of Cups. They want to extend this offer, this peace offer to you. But it says that you've moved on. So what have they, this is not even like a long, <clears throat> a long reading. It's saying that this person knows that there, there's an ending. The, 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 the cycle is closed between the two of you. You are not focused on this person anymore. You're focused on yourself. 
you know, you're not paying them any mind. And and you you're this person they they they're still they want a reconciliation, but what are you reconciling for? What can they possibly give you? This nine of coins often talks about deception. Yes, it does. It talks about somebody who's codependent. You know, there's some dishonesty here. And when it comes to money, it's definitely talking about dishonesty. A workplace situation it talks about somebody who is like, you know, taking profits and and um, hiding them with embezzlement and, and hiding the truth. But it's saying that this person know that they didn't give you the commitment that, that you wanted. So they regret not giving you the commitment that you wanted. And them not, they weren't showing you the love that you deserved. <coughs> Sorry. So now it's time for you to move on. They know you've moved on. You're not looking back. You're, you're moving on. You've moved on with your life. You're not paying them any kind of mind. You're put, you've put this behind you. King of Wands, you've taken your power back. You've moved on from this. You're not, you're not, no, you're not going backwards. No, you, you, the high priestess, I'm looking at it with the, the page of cups. First of all, you could be healing yourself, loving yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to talk about a relationship situation, but it's saying you're putting your time, your energy, and your focus on yourself. And you feel like you you are not, I mean, like the, the high priestess in reverse is talking about ignoring your intuition, but it also talks about what is hidden is, is it comes to light. The secrets will be revealed. So it's saying that you know too much. Okay. Empress in reverse. Ooh. Could they possibly have somebody else? A baby's mother possibly? And this person is just selfish. I'm just saying. Um, so it's saying that, no, you're not trying to go back to this person. The only thing that they regret is that they did not invest in a relationship and give you the love that you deserve. And they realize this, but that doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with them. If you have already begun the healing process of this person, you would have to ask yourself, what would be the point of going back? If you freed yourself of this person, what would be the point of going back? If you weren't getting anything from this relationship, what would be the point of going back? I would say go forward and wait for the right one to come along. That's going to actually give you what you want. It says you turned your back. You're in a good place right now. You know, you're, you're getting over this heartache and this pain and you're just moving forward. You acknowledge that the cycle is over. But this person, now they're living in their regrets. So it says, protection card, angel wings are surrounding you. Trust, replace fear with love. You are eternally held safe within the arms of an angel. So it's saying that you are being protected. And so there is a saying, there's a blessing in every lesson. And sometimes it's happening for you and not to you. So maybe it is that you had to experience this situation with this person to know what you do not want and to understand what you deserve so that you can get the lessons from this relationship not to go back but to learn and to move forward so you are being protected what happened to you was not happening to you is happening for you so you are being protected if you have been pulled out of the frying pan please do not climb into the pot okay just move on and continue with your healing that is my reading for you my dear Gemini's as always say peace love and light to each and every one of you and i'll catch you on the next reading peace and so much love thank you and goodbye